death toll from Egypt's deadliest terror attack rises to more than 300 people. Today, the military attacked hideouts of those believed to be responsible for Friday's deadly ambush at a mosque. Mona Lange has the very latest for WJZ. Egyptian fighter jets carried out multiple airstrikes Saturday on vehicles believed to be involved in the massacre at a mosque in northern Sinai. More than 300 people were killed, including children. Survivors say Islamic extremists took positions around the mosque's windows and doors and opened fire with rocket-propelled grenades as the imam was just about to deliver his sermon. The attackers blocked all escape routes. 13-year-old Abdullah Sleiman managed to get away. Everybody was climbing on top of each other, trying to get out of the mosque, he said. As I tried to get out, a bullet entered my leg. A day after the ambush, hospital hallways were still flooded with the injured. Grieving families claimed the bodies of their loved ones for burial. Militants have killed dozens of Christians in Cairo this year, but Egyptian officials say this is the first ever large-scale attack on a Muslim congregation. Worshippers there practice the Sufi branch of Islam, which ISIS has branded as blasphemous. So far, no one has claimed responsibility for this week's carnage. The president of Egypt has promised to respond with brutal force to those behind the attack. Mola Lange, reporting for WJZ in Washington. President Trump called the attack horrible and cowardly, going on to say that the world cannot tolerate terrorism.